From the studios of Seven Perth, Rick Arden and Susanna Carr. Good evening. West Australian nurses have voted to strike. They'll walk off the job for 24 hours on Monday in their push for more pay. The decision to escalate their industrial action is expected to throw the hospital system into chaos. Here's political editor Jeff Parry. It's the nurses' second mass meeting this week and their attitude has hardened. Bed closures and elective surgery cancellations will become full-blown strike action on Monday. This morning, the Nursing Federation offered to accept a 12.5% rise, but hours later, that offer was struck down by the 1,000 nurses and midwives at today's meeting. Nothing less than 20%. The Premier says nurses deserve a pay rise, but he can't do anything during an election campaign. But you could if you wanted to. Well, no, it's not a case that I won't. And not, I know you won't break the convention, yeah, but no. it's, not, it's not set down legislation. No, I don't break the law if that was the case, but I would be undermining one of the great principles of our democratic system for the sake of two weeks, not necessary. Billions of dollars, like confetti, are going around in this election, and he seriously expects the public to believe that he can't make a promise to nurses. The state's chief medical officer has warned patients could die. You know, literally we're talking about life and death, we're talking about people in hospitals. The health department has activated its disaster management team. Whose job it will be to assist us uh, through, this, uh, through this disaster, because that's what it is. WA nurses have never taken industrial action lightly. The last time they were on strike was 1998. The Nursing Federation says this will be bigger. We'll work with our members to make sure that patient safety isn't put at risk, but I can assure the government if the nurses walk out on Monday, it's not going to be like in 1998 where half of the nurses stayed inside. Jeff Parry, 7 News. 7 News, the pulse of Perth.